Wednesday, October 24th, 8.30 a.m. Mountain Time, 2018. Guys, we're looking down the eye wall of what is now Super Typhoon U2 as it's making landfall in Guam. It's around 1.30 in the morning, so it's dark over here. The electricity, I'm sure, is out by now as this storm has rapidly intensified. There's a, a recent post from NASA Sport about this same storm with some more details. Sustained winds are now 178 miles per hour with gusts a staggering 219 miles per hour. And you can see it is indeed making landfall on those tiny islands. It's literally a David and Goliath scenario. Those type of numbers, 178 and uh, 219, are the equivalency of an EF4 or greater tornado. Uh, so anything that those winds come in contact with, unfortunately, are going to look like this. So no electricity at 1.30 in the morning with wind speeds pushing 200 miles per hour is not a good scenario anywhere, especially on a remote island like that. That is a U.S. territory. And one thing that I wanted to point out um, about this uh, superstorm, along with some other ones in recent months, that I noticed this morning every outlying U.S. territory with regard to American Samoa, Guam, Northern Mariana Island, which is being affected right now by U2, both Guam and the Northern Mariana, Puerto Rico last year, Irma last year, Gita last year, and we can't leave out Hawaii, have all been affected by a major cyclone or hurricane in the last 12 to 14 months. Cyclone Gita. Here's its path. Went right through American Samoa. 800 people were displaced from their homes, 17 inches of rain. At one point, this storm was a Category 5, made landfall as a Category 4. Hurricane Lane, Hawaii, this year in 2018, at one point was a major Category 5 hurricane, dropped 50 inches of rain in places on the Big Island. Hurricane Maria of 2017, last year, we all remember that storm, Category 5 storm again that went through Puerto Rico. Here's the path. Um, they're still repairing from Hurricane Maria a year later. Same with Hurricane Irma, Category 5 storm that went through the U.S. Virgin Islands, again affecting the outlying islands of the U.S. territories. Irma, Big Cat 5, and that was a world record storm. And then back to Gita and the path it took through American Samoa. So every outlying island that is a U.S. territory, has been involved in a major cyclone or hurricane in the last 12 to 14 months. Is that a coincidence? I don't recall that ever happening. Don't recall that ever happening. And it's happening right now as I do this video as we're staring down the eye wall of a major super typhoon U2 that's only going to get stronger, by the way. This storm as it moves to the west, slightly northwest, is going to increase in strength, getting wind speeds of 155 knots in 24 hours, maintaining 155 knots for more than 12 to 24 hours, and that's just up over 180, I think. Incredible. Incredible storm. So the 2018 hurricane season in the northern hemisphere is closing on a uh, very big note. This is a very big storm and it could be one of the biggest storms of the year. Super storm, super typhoon, U2 making landfall in Guam right now as I do this video. Thanks for watching guys. Have a super day and be safe out there.